what is up guys my name is Taylor or Mergadurka as you know and uh, this is a game of free-for-all on uh, why am I telling you this why am I honestly telling you this you guys can see this game has been out for a year almost literally a year like 11 months and three weeks um, you guys don't even care about the gameplay I guarantee you guys are clicking over to watch something else um, maybe maybe some something you shouldn't be watching I don't know, little Jimmy over there clicking on a pornography tab. Shame, 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 Mr. Jimmy. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, this is my 40,000 subscriber thank you video. Uh, thank you guys very much. I do appreciate it. Um, I do my best to put out content that is quality, uh, both in, I don't know, I, I try to be honest more than anything. Um, with these gameplay things, I know I say that I play them and uh, I take whatever I get in these uh, little sessions and I give it to you, and uh, that's what I do. If I go 15 and 20, I'll put it up for you. If I go uh, 30 and 1, I'll put it up for you, obviously. But, uh, you know, it's all about trying to keep a good relationship with you guys, and that's what I try to do more than anything, because at the end of the day, this isn't just my channel. Uh, I may be the one who runs it, but it would just be me talking to myself about stupid topics uh, for no one's entertainment if you guys weren't here. So... Thank you for humoring me, I guess. <laughs> That's what I feel like it is sometimes. I feel like it's 40,000 people who are, like, just here to make me feel less worthless. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, thank you guys very much. I do appreciate it. Uh, more than you know, I never thought my channel would get this sizable. Um, man, 40,000 subscribers. That's ridiculous. Just saying it in my head. That's so many people. Um, man, I've been doing this since February of... Yeah, February. And, of course, you guys are like, what? February? Maybe it was late January. It might have even been mid to late January when I started my original channel. But, uh, as you know, that was hacked, and that's a big shame. But, anyway, this channel is doing great, and I'm more than more than happy with it. And, uh, you know, just a little word to the wise about this whole commentary thing. If you are in it, and you want... Look at that nice triple little unnecessary drop shot. But, uh, <laughs> if you are in this commentary thing... Uh, for the subscribers, don't get it in your head that you're ever going to be satisfied. Um, it's the nature of the beast. It's the nature of human... Uh, it's human nature to always want more. It's never enough. You always want to strive to be more successful, uh, better uh, in everything that you do. And so when I first started my channel, I thought to myself, all that I want is to be able to get more than a thousand views on a video and to have uh, like 5,000 subscribers. And as soon as I got to 5,000, I was happy for maybe 20 minutes and I was like, man... All I need is to get to 10,000. Once I get to 10,000, I'll be a happy camper. And uh, that's how it goes. You're never quite satisfied, and that applies to anything in life. So uh, at the end of the day, you got to learn to be happy with what you have and uh, be contented. And I'm sorry for that serious little note, but, uh, you know, and I'm so excited for 50,000. And in my head, I've always said 50,000 is going to be the time where anything else after 50K is just gravy. Uh, just the icing on the cake. Maybe I shouldn't use icing on the cake and it's just gravy in the same sentence. It's disgusting. Gravy. It's just the gravy on the cake. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, Lord, I'm going to get a thousand comments, people saying gravy on the cake. But, uh, anyway, thank you, guys. Um, it would be really interesting for me if you guys could post in the comments where you found my videos. Maybe you found me through Woody. Maybe you found me through um, Wings, T-Mart, and Onslaught. Maybe you just found me looking around on the Internet. You thought this guy might sound entertaining. I don't know. Tell me what, the way you found me because I'm very interested in that. And uh, it helped me to help me to further... further uh, advance my channel. I shouldn't have started that sentence. I didn't know where I was going for it and I kind of had to wing it. But anyway, um, what to talk about? I have one thing that people have been wanting to talk about. It's a, every once in a while you get weird little influxes and topics. Like, uh, I got like five cancer questions a few weeks ago and I got one a few days ago and like people want me to talk about cancer. And, uh, that's just like, not to say that's not a good topic to talk about, but, uh, oh lord, got congested briefly, but, uh, it's not, not that it's not a good topic, it's just it's weird how they come in shifts. And recently I've been getting a lot of people wanting me to talk about racism. And uh, I don't know why. Um, I'm white, for those of you who didn't know. Um, I come from Italian descent, as Onslaught knows. He says I'm just a greasy Dago. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. What about racism? If you are... I mean, I guess the thing that I get kind of frustrated with isn't racism, it's political correctness. I think political correctness is asinine and silly. It doesn't make sense. Um, and the term that most peeves me with political correctness is the term African American. Um, I don't... I have black friends, bash, shout out, much love, buddy. But uh, <laughs> that's another pet peeve of mine. I hate it when people say, like, they can be racist because they have black friends or something. It's dumb. But, uh... You know, I don't like that term African American, and Bash, you're Canadian, so you don't even know, but uh, <laughs> I don't like it because, first of all, it's just making a gross assumption that all black people f come from Africa. I mean, heaven forbid that there could be uh, 
a Jamaican American or maybe a Haitian American or a Dominican American. A lot of black people come from everywhere and saying that everyone is an African American just for the sake of political correctness is redundant and it's silly. And uh, it just goes to show that in our today in our society today that we're more uh, more concerned with what things appear to be than what they really are. Um, I don't know. I just think the political correctness is a bit silly. It keeps people from saying what they want to. And uh, I don't know. The term African American is pretty goofy to me. I don't understand it. Um, unless you were born in Africa, you're not African American in the first place. Um, like, there's a kid in my high school. His name was Kiprotik Baliak. He was born in Kenya. He and then he came here and lived in the United States and became a citizen. He is an African American. Um, I was uh, was born here. I, my family was born here. Am I Italian-American just because I have Italian heritage? Um, I would contend that I am not. I am just an American just like anyone else. And the sooner we can put those silly racial barriers behind us, the sooner we can realize that we're all just people and no one's better than anyone else. And uh, I'd like to thank the Academy for my award. And uh, Oh, wait, I, I'm sorry. I completely forgot what I was doing. But <laughs> Sorry for that little sentimental, goofy BS. But I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Please leave a comment if you did and tell me what you think about, uh, I don't know, racism and gravy on cakes and whatever you want to say. Just leave a comment because I like reading them. It makes me happy. And I will talk to you guys later.